Hello everyone, this is Vikas here and welcome to English Grammar Easy YouTube channel. So today I shall discuss a beautiful poem, Amanda, which is written by Robin Kleon. Robin Kleon is an Australian women poet and a writer. So before going to discuss the poem, I shall just give you an idea about the poem. In this poem, the poet Robin Kleon has clearly expressed the inner feelings and the views of a little girl, Amanda, who was being pointed out by her mother for making mistakes. So in this poem, you will get that some lines are written within brackets and some stanzas are not written within brackets. So the stanzas which is written within the brackets, that is the imagination of Amanda and the stanzas which is not written within the brackets that is spoken by Amanda's mother. So from this point of view, we can clearly perceive that Amanda was being pointed out by her mother and from Amanda's answer, we can perceive how Amanda was being disturbed by her mother's guidance. Now we shall go for stanza wise explanation before going to discuss the stanzas before going to discuss the first stanzas i'll just tell you the difficult word meaning of the first stanzas the meaning of hans is banned slossing slossing meaning sitting in a lazy way amaral means green color languid means relaxed inhabitant means resident drifting means carried slowly by the water and blissfully means happily so let's go for the stanzas. Don't bite your nails, Amanda. Don't hunt your soldiers, Amanda. Stop that slossing and sit up straight, Amanda. There is a languid amaral sea where the sole inhabitant is me, a mermaid drifting blissfully. So we'll discuss two two stanzas. Now in the first stanza, the poet has said that Amanda's mother is pointing out Amanda for biting her nails, which is not a good habit at all. At the same time, she suggests her to sit straight without bending her shoulders. From this point of view, we can say that Amanda has the habit of bending her shoulders and sitting lazily, which was not liked by her mother. So she was being scolded. And at this particular point of time, Amanda imagines herself to be in a deep green sea. She imagines that if she would have been in a deep green sea, she says that she wants to be the only resident of this beautiful green sea. She imagines herself like a mermaid. You know, mermaid, it is a well-known imaginary creature. So Amanda wants to be a mermaid who is alone there and leads her life in a very relaxing way. She says that she wants to be carried out by the current of water and feel the relaxing environment there. Let's go for the third stanzas. Did you finish your homework, Amanda? Did you tidy your room, <coughs> Amanda? I thought I told you to clean your shoes, Amanda. Then the fourth stanza, I'll just read out. I am an orphan roaming the street. I pattern soft dust with my hushed bare feet. The silence is golden. The freedom is sweet. So in this stanza, Amanda's mother has asked her whether she has finished her homework or not whether she has cleaned her homework or not or whether she has cleaned her shoes etc then we have seen that mother is continuously that amanda's mother is continuously asking about her homework about her room and cleaning shoes etc etc but while amanda is listening to her mother's instructions <coughs> she imagines 
herself to be an orphan. You know, orphan means the children who doesn't have parents. So she imagines to be an orphan who can roam in the street without any hesitation. This means if she would have been an orphan, she would have walked freely in the streets. She would have drawn designs on the soft dust with her uncovered feet. Moreover, she was continuously being guided by her mother. So she realizes that silence is golden, which means very crucial and precious. She also adds that she never feels free when she is with her mother. Now we shall go for the next stanzas. Don't eat that chocolate, Amanda. Remember your egg, Amanda. Will you please look at me when I am speaking to you, Amanda? I am Rapunzel. I have not a care. Life in a tower is, tower is tranquil and rare. I will certainly never let down my bright hair. So, here I will tell you the difficult word meaning. Acne means pimples. Rapunzel, you know Rapunzel? A girl in a fairy tale. Tranquil means very calm. And rare means very uncommon. So, in this stanza, Amanda was suggested by her mother not to eat chocolates. However, she reminds her pimples. That Amanda, Amanda's faces and will face such problems due to eating chocolates. In this time, Amanda was not paying attention what her mother said. So she scolded her to pay attention or to look at her. Now, Amanda wants to be a Rapunzel because she realizes that life will be very peaceful and unusual. She thinks that she will be free and live in a peaceful environment in the tower. So I'll tell you the story of Rapunzel after completing these stanzas. Anyway, she also confirms herself that she will never let her hair down to anyone so that nobody can come to her in the tower. Now, what is the story of Rapunzel? It's a fairy tale. So I'll tell you the story of Rapunzel now. <coughs> Once upon a time, there lived a lonely couple who wished to have a child. They lived in a little house all on their own. At the back of the house, there was a small window from where one could see the beautiful garden. It was full of beautiful flower. That means the garden was full of beautiful flower. But no one could enter in this garden as it was believed that it belonged to a witch named Dame Gothel. Incidentally, one day a woman, one day the woman saw a plant, plant called rampion, which is used to make salads. So, she requested her husband to bring that rampion but she refused she was refused by her husband as it was belonged to that witch that means her husband also afraid to bring that rampion because it was belonged by that witch but because of her repeated request because the woman continuously requested her husband so, because of her repeated request, he promised to bring that rampion. Incidentally, the husband climbed the wall into the garden of the witch and started, sorry, the husband claimed the wall, sorry, the husband climbed the wall into the garden of the witch and started taking some 
rampions. The man gave the rampions to his wife and made a salad out of it and ate it. But on that night, they heard a knock on their door and he was afraid of that as it was knocked by the witch. The witch scolded him for bringing rampions without any permission. The man explained that his wife eagerly wanted to eat that rampions so he could not refuse her. Then the witch replied that if that is true, then she will give him as many rampions as his wife wants. But there is one condition. That means the husband and the wife had to follow a condition. What is the condition? So the condition is that his wife should give her the child which will bring into his which will bring which will bring into this world. After few months, the women gave birth a beautiful little baby girl. But on that very night, the witch came and took away the baby girl, leaving the poor parents in complete sorrow. The witch named the baby girl Rapunzel and had taken care of her. She kept her locked in a long tower with no doors and staircase but just a small window. That means in the long tower there was only a small window. So Rapunzel started to grow up and became a beautiful little girl with very long golden locks. But her beauty went in vain because the cruel witch never allowed her to go anywhere. Said Rapunzel just used to stand at the little window and sing sad songs. When the witch had to visit Rapunzel, she used to ask Rapunzel to let down her <coughs> hair. So Amanda once So Amanda wants to be like Rapunzel because her life will be peaceful in the tall tower. She also confirms that she will not let down her hair so that no one could enter and disturb her. Now I shall go for the last stanzas. Stop that slashing, stop that sucking at once, Amanda. You are always so moody, Amanda. Anyone would think that I nagged at you, Amanda. So in this stanza, Amanda's mother warns Amanda for behaving odd manner. She asks her to stop bad manner. Amanda always looks so moody, so her mother blames her of having such an you know unstable mood moreover she also tells her that her behavior will compel the people to think that amanda is continuously being harassed by her mother so these are the explanation of the stanzas i hope you will be benefited from this explanation thank you